The Thirsty Crow Hi children, before we begin the story, let's see who are the characters who are going to come in the story. The crow, the monkey, the birds, the woodpecker, the butterflies and the ducks. The story begins here. It was a beautiful spring season. The trees were greenish and very pleasant to see. The flowers bloomed were very beautiful. The lakes and the ponds were filled with water. The animals in the forest were happily enjoying their days. They had enough food to eat. The monkeys were grunting and chattering in joy. They were jumping from one branch to the other. The birds were happily flying in the sky. The sound of the birds were very sweet to hear. The woodpecker was busy pecking the wood. The ducks had a lovely time swimming in the lake. The squirrels were busy opening the nut. The butterflies were enjoying the nectar from the flowers. Days rolled beautifully. Then came summer. The sun was very hot. The leaves in the trees started to dry and fall. And there were no fruits for the animals to eat. The animals were very sad. The lakes were dry. There was no water anywhere. One among them was a crow who was very thirsty. She was in search of water everywhere. But she couldn't find it anywhere. She was very sad and started to fly in search of water. She flew very far away. At last she came to a village where she saw a jar of water. But the water was very less in the jar and she could not reach it. She thought for a while and suddenly an idea struck her mind. She found some stones near the jar. She picked the stones one after the other and dropped it into the jar. The water started to raise up slowly. She again continued to drop stones into the jar. Then the water reached the brim of the jar. The crow now drank the water very happily and flew away. She then narrated the whole story to other animals and shared her joy. All the animals appreciated her for her hard work and patience. So children, always keep trying things without getting tired like the crow.